Who else is excited about the 2022 World Cup coming up in a matter of days? We at Goal 90 definitely are. There's just something about this year's tournament that feels like it'll be one for the book, so yes, we are really excited. And it is with that excitement that we bring you our predictions for the 2022 World Cup. Make sure to watch till the end because the semi-final picks are pretty spicy and you might be shocked by our Group D predictions too. So let's get right to it. Group A We think the Netherlands will top that group and Senegal will come in second. Sadly, the host Qatar will crash out bottom of the group and Ecuador will follow suit in third. We think Group B will see England finish on top, followed by their neighbours Wales. Then the USA and Iran will have to bow out in the first round. However, we think the second spot will be a tough fight between Wales and the US, but Wales will just edge it. In Group C, we expect an informed Argentina to top the group easily, while Saudi Arabia finish last. Poland and Mexico will fight it out for second and third, but we believe Lewandowski and his men will be able to do just enough to book their ticket to the round of 16. Now, Group D has France, Denmark, Australia and Tunisia, and many would expect France to top the group, but we actually think Denmark will edge it. The Danes have shown that they know how to beat France, having done that twice already this year. We expect them to complete the three-peat over the defending champions and take the group. Yes, we did consider the World Cup winner's curse, which has caused the World Cup winners to crash out in the group stage in the last three tournaments, but we think France have enough quality to break the curse. Also, they've already paid their dues, having fallen to the curse after winning in 1998 and crashing out in the group stage in 2002. So we think they'll finish second, then Australia and Tunisia will finish in third and fourth respectively. Group E is another interesting group. It has two European powerhouses at Germany and Spain, and while the entire team agreed that both of them will make it out of the group, it was hard to settle on who will finish first. Germany looked like the stronger side, but then they suffered that 6-0 thrashing at the hands of Spain just two years ago. Anyway, we settled on Germany winning the group, with Spain finishing a close second. The group was split on this one, however. Costa Rica and Japan complete the group in third and fourth respectively. Group F is another group that gives us two European giants in Belgium and Croatia. And while Croatia are obviously a really strong team, we predict that Belgium will be topping the group and the 2018 finalists will finish a close second. Third and fourth will be a close fight between Canada and Morocco, but we believe the North Americans will just edge out the Africans to finish in third. Do we need to say who will finish top in Group G? It's most definitely Brazil. They might even win all their games in the group stage comfortably. Switzerland and Serbia will battle for the other ticket to the round of 16. The Swiss have the likes of Xhaka, Mbolo and Shakiri, while Serbia have Mitrovic, Vlaovic and Kostic. It'll be a very interesting match to watch for sure, but we think the Swiss will just edge it. This was another split decision, but Switzerland were the ones who knocked out France in the Euros last year, so you can understand why they edged this one. Cameroon were brilliant at the AFCON, but we just think the teams in this group are too strong for them. Now to the group of death. Group H. This group contains giants from four different continents. It also is a revenge group. Portugal want to take revenge on Uruguay for knocking them out in the round of 16 in 2018, and we think they have the talent to succeed at that, so we predict they will top the group. The Ghanaians will also surely want to take revenge on Uruguay for Suarez's Hand of God in 2010, which stopped them from becoming the first African nation to make it to the World Cup semi-finals, but we think they'll fall short and finish just a place below Uruguay in third. South Korea, an obviously brilliant team led by the current Premier League Golden Boot winner, will finish in fourth. But it was really tough. Each of these guys has what it takes to make it to the round of 16, so definitely keep your eyes on that group. Now our predictions for the group stage automatically sets up the round of 16 fixtures, so that means the Netherlands will face Wales. We expect the Flying Dutchman to soar in that game. Argentina will face France in the round of 16 for the second time in a row, but we think the South Americans will edge the Europeans this time around. England will face Senegal, tough game, but we expect the three Lions to dispatch Mane and his men. Denmark vs Poland may seem the least exciting match of the round, but we think it'll end up being very enthralling with Denmark coming out on top. Germany vs Croatia will be a cracker, but we expect the 2014 champions to oust the 2018 finalists. We expect to see a matchup between South American heavyweights early on when Brazil and Uruguay meet. Tough, but we expect Brazil to win. 
Belgium vs Spain will be another cracking game. Split decisions here, but the team eventually settled for Spain. Portugal vs Switzerland is another interesting one. The Swiss have shown that they are giant slayers, but we expect Portugal's super team to be able to cross that hurdle. Our predictions from the round of 16 should set up the most interesting quarterfinal fixtures in decades. The Netherlands will face Argentina, but we predict that the wings of the Flying Dutchman will be clipped by Messi and his men. Then guess what? If things go just how we've predicted, we will see a replay of that iconic semi-final game from 2014. Of course, you know the one we're referring to. This time around though, we think Brazil have enough to take revenge on Germany. Maybe just not with a scoreline that wide, but then never say never, right? The third quarterfinal game will be England versus Denmark, and our English team members hope it'll be coming home this time, but the vote of the team went to the Danes. Sorry lads. Finally, Spain versus Portugal. Huge game, split decision again, but the majority went with Portugal. That leaves us with very interesting semi-final fixtures. South Americans to one side, Europeans to the other. The second semi-final will be Denmark versus Portugal, and we expect CR7 and his men to be able to cripple the dark horses and make it to their first ever World Cup final. Then the first semi-final will be the biggest game so far, a game between age-old rivals, a game we saw in the final of the Copa America last year. And just like that final, we expect Argentina to slightly edge Brazil. Emphasis on slightly. It will obviously be a very tough game. Now, you know what this means, right? We get the final of the century, Argentina versus Portugal. Lionel Messi versus Cristiano Ronaldo in what will most likely be their last ever World Cup outing. If this happens, rest assured, we'll be having a record number of viewers for the 2022 World Cup final. Now, for this final, which will raise many blood pressures around the world, the winner will be... Nah. You know what? We'll leave that to you. If Argentina and Portugal actually meet in the 2022 World Cup final, who do you think will take it? Let us know in the comments. Or, if you think our predictions were way off the mark, share your own predictions with us in the comments. We'll be watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to